doing this cadencia, it's kind of like I start the idea of the movement, and I let her go, and I wind up there right after her. Then I get there just behind her. And there's a movement of the two bodies. But it's like I begin this movement, and then she gets it, and then she goes, then I wind up there. Then she goes, and then I wind up there. Something about the radar of the two of us, something about me seeing her cleanly in my kinesthetic sonar scope, that I know exactly where she is. It's a good place to spend a few moments rocking from foot to foot and completely and wholly committing to each access point as we do. That we're not getting there and holding something back. I'm not getting there and partially going, but I've got something still on that foot. I'm getting here and completely arriving on this axis. And obviously, I wouldn't have to say this if you saw it, and this is the nature of describing the work of dance. If I'm having to describe it as something you don't see when I dance, so when I show it, I probably show a little more than I do when I actually dance. I don't really take my hip way over here. But what I'm demonstrating in this is that I'm fully committed to this axis to the point I could lift that leg. So at each cadencia, the same thing's going on for Joanne. And I'm not ready to move or do anything off of this beat until I know she has fully arrived on an axis. Lift the legs to show them where you are. That we, I'm ready, now I'm ready to move with her. And now I'm ready to move with her. And I've got to hear that moment in my body as a leader in order to put her into a state of being able to move with her. That's going on with every single step I take to even my dance. When I'm at that point of cadencia, we're just tick-tocking back and forth, but we're fully committing to each axis. It's a very important moment in dance.